welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to do something a little different for my makeup as you can tell if you haven't noticed i had a little brow lift do you like it? <laughs> i wanted to start a birth sign series on my channel this is my capricorn look capricorn is a fish goat hybrid so that is why my eyebrows look like this uh it was my first time experimenting with glue like gluing down your eyebrows so you'll be able to tell when you see the video my struggles with it but um uh not bad uh not bad for my first time this was really really fun to film uh i've never really done anything like this before so this was fun i really really got to play with makeup today like play with makeup i felt like a little kid oh it was so much fun and the eyebrows <laughs> the eyebrows um they feel so weird and they're kind of like peeling uh, well not the eyebrows themselves but the glue underneath is kind of peeling off because i have such dry skin right now it's ridiculous i've been moisturizing my skin like crazy and yet my face is so dry it's it's ridiculous but <sighs> we moved past it and i completed the look and i'm actually pretty proud of the look some of it could not blend <laughs> so well because of my dry patches and from the glue so ignore that but overall i really like the look i tried to do a hybrid of what a goat would look like with a little bit of uh um fish thrown in there you know like a capricorn like a true capricorn it's so weird too my husband just came and he was just like what what, what did you do to your face and he could not stop laughing i literally had to send him out he could not stop laughing. Boys. I understand this look is not very wearable, um, but if, if you got rid of the eyebrows and lowered the crease just a little bit down to your like normal crease, it would be a whole lot more wearable. I really like the color combination of that blue-brown pigment with the brown crease. I think it looks really pretty. Maybe in the future I'll do a more wearable version of this look, maybe next year. But um, yeah, I've been wanting to do a birth sign series even before I started my channel. I have a book that I write all of my ideas in and this was like my top five. And I'm I'm really glad that I'm starting it off this year, finally. Alright guys, if you are interested in learning how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to pull back my hair. I used my Maleficent Mickey Mouse ears because they reminded me of goat ears. <laughs> I was feeling a little bit under the weather today and my skin was so incredibly dry, so I am starting off with some moisturizer. Then I attempted to glue down my brows. Make sure you use a non-toxic glue for this. I applied the glue first and combed down my brows um, using a spoolie and make sure you comb them down as flat as possible. And then I set the glue using a setting powder. I repeated these steps about three times to make sure that my brows stayed put. Then taking this red color corrector from Bella Pierre, which I got from my BoxyCharm, I applied it over my brows to cover up as much of the dark brows as possible. And then went in with my Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation in Warm Beige. I also blended the foundation down onto my eyelids to use as an eyeshadow primer.
Next, taking a brown liner pencil, I started to sketch out brows that resembled goat horns. And then I filled in those brows using a dark brown eyeshadow. If you do accidentally make a mistake, you can use uh, concealer to clean up any mistakes that you've made, like I'm doing here. Then I applied the eyeshadow pigment Mother Nature from Naked Cosmetics all over my lids. I used a little bit of setting spray to make the pigment even more intense. To blend out the harsh edges, I used the Milani Gel Powder Eyeshadow in Bella Cappuccino. I wanted the crease a little bit darker, so I used the colors Marina and Seaside in my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 palette. Taking a more precise brush, I used those same two eyeshadows to draw out kind of like a fish-shaped wing and brought the crease up higher. Then taking this dark brown eyeshadow called Epic from the Pure Soiree Diaries palette, I darkened the outer edge of the fish-shaped wing and my outer bottom lash line. And then I went back in with the Mother Nature pigment to further fill in the fish-shaped wing. Next, I used a champagne-colored eyeshadow to fill in the negative space under my new crease. And then for my brow bone highlight, I just ended up blending together a bunch of random champagne shades. I created a small wing using my NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner in black and connected the black liner to the bottom lash line using a dark brown eyeshadow from my Lorac Pro 1 palette. Taking this green duochrome buxom eyeshadow in room service, I highlighted my inner corner and dragged the color to the inner third of my bottom lash line to open up the eyes more. I then applied black liner to my waterline and tight line, curled my lashes, and applied the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. For primer, I used the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and applied the same Milani foundation I used before for the rest of my face. And I used a small concealer brush to carefully apply the foundation around my eyes so that I wouldn't disrupt the eyeshadow. To set my face, I used the Physician's Formula Argan Wear Bronzer in Light Bronzer. And then using the Ofra Banana Powder, I highlighted under my eyes and then contoured the rest of my face using a highlight and contouring palette from IBY Beauty. I decided to pop on some elf lashes for more of a dramatic look. To make my cheekbones appear sharper, I applied some banana powder on the top edge of my cheek contour. For blush, I used a combination of the Wet n Wild Fergie Face Highlighter in Rose Golden Goddess and the Real Her Blush in Unstoppable. And then for highlighter, I used the Physician's Formula Vegas Strip Light Bronzer and then place the Vintage Highlighter in Chocolate Diamond right on top. I wanted a really dark brown lip 
So I used the NYX Simply Vamp Lip Cream in Enamored and placed the Milani Amore Metallics Lip Cream in Materialistic on top. And then for some extra dimension and drama, I placed a little bit of the Mother Nature pigment that we used on our lids right in the middle of the lips. And finally, to seal in the look and help the makeup melt in together, I applied my Project Beauty setting spray. Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!